good morning dear children welcome to computer class so in the last class we have learned something about keyboard first we discussed about the use of keyboard what is the use of keyboard yes we need a keyboard to type on computer we need a keyboard to type on computer then we studied about keys what are called keys small buttons on the keyboard are called keys what are called keys small buttons on the keyboard are called keys and then we discussed about three types of keys on the keyboard which are they yes alphabet keys number keys and special keys what is the spelling of alphabet a l p h a b e t alphabet the number m u m b e r number and special spelling s p e c i a l special and what is the use of alphabet keys yes alphabet keys are used to type words keys labeled with english alphabet are called alphabet keys what do you mean by alphabet letters okay so the keys labeled with english letters or the keys labeled with a to z are called alphabet keys and what is the use of alphabet keys alphabet keys are used to type words alphabet keys are used to type words and next we discussed about number keys okay so keys labeled with numbers from 0 to 9 see look at the picture you can see numbers on some keys right and these are called these are called number keys we can see two sets of number keys on the keyboard one at the top of the keyboard and second at the right side of the keyboard so we can see two sets of number keys on the keyboard and what is the use of number keys number keys are used to type numbers number keys are used to type numbers and today we are going to study about some special keys okay first one is space bar key space bar key okay so can you see space bar key on the keyboard yes in the picture this blue color key is called space bar key it is the longest key on the keyboard okay longest key on the keyboard is space bar key and what is the use of space bar key space bar key is used to leave space between words space bar key is used to leave space or gap between words see look at the um, word space bar key after space one space is the gap is gap is the and then bar then again gap then key okay so similarly if we want to uh, leave gap between words you can see gap between space and bar and also you can see space between bar and key right so this key this space bar key is used to leave space between words after one word if you want to leave some space we have to press this space bar key 
and the space bar key is the longest key on the keyboard you should keep in mind which is the longest key on the keyboard space bar key which is the longest key on the keyboard space bar key okay and you have to study the spelling of space bar key s p a c e space b a r bar k e y key space bar key we can see only one space bar key on the keyboard okay so this is the longest key on the keyboard and we can see only one space bar key on the keyboard so which is the longest key on the keyboard yes space bar key which is the longest key on the keyboard space bar key okay and what is the use of space bar key space bar key helps us to leave space between words clear and next is ender key ender key look at this uh, key uh, yes here it is written ender e n t e r ender this is called ender key this is called what ender key okay and we can see ender key in two places one is at the middle row of the keyboard and also near the number keys okay and you can see uh, ender key in two places one is in the right corner of the keyboard and the second at the middle of the keyboard clear children and do you know what is the use of ender key yes ender key is used to move the cursor to the next line what do you mean by cursor a blinking line okay in the live session i will show you the a cursor okay so that tells uh, us from where to start writing cursor tells us from where to start writing okay it is a blinking vertical line what is a cursor it is a blinking vertical line and that tells from where to start writing and if we want to move the cursor from one line to the next line we have to press this ender key when we press ender key cursor will move from uh, for one line to the next clear so what is the use of ender key ender key is used to move the cursor to the next line clear so in the live session also i'll explain all these things again okay children oh, thank you so much bye